Welcome back everybody, my name is Cosmo and today I am bringing you the 8th episode of my Spin Tires Mud Runner Challenge series. This challenge is called Cross a River and once again there are 3 bonus objectives to complete if you want the explosive finish. As you can see, one of those objectives is do the whole mission in night mode. The second objective is don't use your winch, which I don't think should be an issue for this e-model truck. And the third objective is make sure the garage trailer gets there with the truck. Um, that's going to be interesting because we're going to be fighting a current, presumably. And uh, trailers are terrible as far as currents go. But hey, let's get going. Let's see what we can do here. Let's back the truck into the trailer, start the engine up. We'll, uh, we'll back her in, hook her up, and be on our way. No time to waste. Cosmo Speedy Deliveries Incorporated. Perfect. Trailer's hooked up. That was a lot easier than I thought it would be. Let's turn all-wheel drive on. Actually, let's quickly go into the map here and see where we need to go. Oh my goodness. That is a very wide river. Wow. Okay, I think what I'm gonna actually do... I think what they want you to do, or what they're trying to make you do, is go across this road here, and then try and cross diagonally this way. I think what I will try to do is go along this shore right here, and then cross somewhere around here. So let's give that a go. Let's plan out a route. I am going to uh, go here first, here, uh, here, sure. Here, we'll cross to there. Go along to here, along to here, and then we'll figure out our way once we get there. Let's get going. No time to waste. Zero time to waste. Man, this E is very loud, and it's quite the gas guzzler too. But I guess that's why it has an 800 liter fuel tank. <laughs> and it does have 1000 damage, which is uh, pretty good, which means that it can handle quite a bit of water damage before it really gets broken. Still though, pulling this trailer is making things that much more difficult. I can see why they gave you like the crappiest trailer they could too. They want to make your life miserable on this one. <laughs> Although I don't think anything could be as tough as episode number 6 where we had to pull the truck out of the, the water and you had to unlock it first. Oh, that sucked. That sucked. <laughs> Proceed slowly if you start to sink, reverse back and find another way. Well, no promises. I picked an interesting route to go there, that's for sure. Uh, hopefully the garage trailer survives. <laughs> it's not looking too good back there. Let's cross this little swamp here as well. Hopefully it's not too deep. Dangerous water level. Yeah, we, we know all about that. We've seen it before. Woo! Oh boy. Oh boy, come on. Come on, as long as she makes it out, because I can't use the winch. Nice. Nice. The ease of these guys, I'm telling you. You don't get to use it much. It's probably because it's quite impractical for certain things. But as far as just, you know, going in a straight line through anything that you point it at, it's perfect at doing that. <laughs> if you use... Oh, crap. I need to reverse. I hit a tree. I actually uh, was holding my throttle on there because I thought I was in the last mission where you couldn't let go of the accelerator. Man, all these bonus challenges are messing with my head. <laughs> there have been so many at this point that I feel like I need to be doing all of them right now. Night mode is a very popular one, it seems. They want you to, uh, to do these missions in night mode quite a bit, which I don't really see the big challenge in, honestly. Like, I really don't. I really don't. It's not that much more challenging to do this stuff in night mode. In night mode. Okay, so I believe we've reached our intermediate destination. Make sure nothing is gonna sink. And uh, let's check the map. Perfect. Oh, wow. So check it out, guys. It looks like it's getting quite deep here. So if I had gone the initial way, I feel like I would have been totally screwed. But look at how, how shallow it is here. I am literally just going to go like this like this, like this, and perch up somewhere, oh, somewhere right there, whatever, we'll see. I'm pretty sure that's a hill, but we'll work it out. And, would you look at this, the current is going left, which means that I'm actually going to be assisted by the current on this one, as opposed to fighting the current and uh, getting the trailer all flipped over and stuff. I hope the current will assist me. Come on, come on. Oh boy, okay. 
Oh yeah, like the island is right there. It's funny, when you look at the map, you feel like the distances are way, way, uh, way larger. But in reality, you're so close to things. These maps aren't that big. Especially the challenge maps. I feel like the challenge maps are just, you know, a very small chunk of a, of a real mission map. But they feel big because it's taking you so long to get across things. <laughs> I love this truck. It looks like something out of Star Wars too. The cool thing, the other cool thing about it is the cockpit. The cockpit mode literally looks like a cockpit and the other guy sits way across from you. You're not even sitting together. Which I think is a bonus if you don't like the guy you're working with. You just kind of, you know, let him sit there by himself and... Oh, I never noticed these. Well, like, I, th I think I did. I just never really, like, registered it. But it's got crew cabs too. That's cool. Is it from both sides? Nice. Nice. So I guess somebody has to ride with the annoying guide after all. <laughs> Alrighty, where can we cross here? I think I know where. We're gonna loop around like this and uh, make our way to shore. I got this, guys. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Let's get her done. Let's make sure the trailer doesn't flip here, though. As you can see, I'm not using my headlights yet again because, well, it's just frankly not that dark. And I don't need to, like, see trees. I don't need to navigate much. I'll turn them on just for fun. <laughs> Alrighty. Dangerous water level. Looking good, though. Looking good. Got tons of fuel. That's not going to be an issue, considering we're also carrying fuel. Garage trailer is uh, <laughs> looking like it wants to go for a swim, but we're not going to let it. Also, the E, just like the D, can run over things with quite ease. I love it. Just mows it over. Not a care in this world. Oh, wow. And we have pretty much made it out, guys. Yeah, we've made it out. The E is a trooper. It carried the garage trailer the whole way. And I am very glad that we took the path that we took because, well, I feel like crossing it at the wide part would have been just mental. <laughs> Alrighty, come on. Let's get into high gear here. Oh, somebody's trying their laundry. Bonus objective complete. Three out of three. Awesome. I hope you guys enjoyed that challenge. That was actually very difficult. If you guys have this game, I encourage you to play that one. If you guys don't have this game, I encourage you to get the game and play through all the challenges. They're really fun. Next episode is going to be the last episode. Stay tuned for that one. Once again, I hope you enjoyed this one. Please click like, share it with your friends. Give me feedback in the comments below. And I'll catch you in the next episode.